there. Let's get this dress fitted and let's get that zipper on. And that's what's next. We're almost done with this and the crucial point of getting this thing fitted and the zipper on that's not the hard part the hard part is how am I going to fit myself that's going to be a little bit of a challenge today my seamstress is not well and I'm going to try to go on and do this on my own let's see what happens but before I get started I hope you guys have been enjoying my vlogs I really appreciate the ones that have been following me from the very beginning if you're just tuning in now Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Put the bell notification so you don't miss any of these vlogs. And check out my other teaching videos and my Patreon account where my French draping is. Okay, let's get to this. I wanted to show you this because not a lot of people talk about this, but this is very, very important to understand what happens when you start making a fitted gown or something with a bustier or, or a boning or structure of any kind. Once you start working with it and you get it back on the dress form, all, you're going to find all of a sudden that there's just not uh, fitting properly or you're just running out of seam allowance. It is very, very natural for this to happen. The two reasons why this happens. First, the first reason is this lady here, this mannequin doesn't breathe, right? She doesn't, she doesn't in, inhale or exhale or her body doesn't move in or out. It's just a hard surface form. So that's the first thing that's restricting you from understanding why this is not fitting. The second is putting layers and putting seam allowances and, and all the bulkiness of actually sewing the garment together can also contribute to it that diminishing seam allowance or excess that we have here for the zipper. Um, this also, we also decided to make this on this dress form, which is more, more or less my size. So we're going to try to fit it on me, even though I'm gonna have a formal model uh, and photograph this properly. Um, I'm going to try to fit it to me. And I'm also going to say that these measurements here are very crucial. So we measured before the measurements. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to show you this on the flat. But right now, just so you understand, we're going to need the bust measurement. We're going to need the under the bust measurement, which is right underneath there where the boning starts. And of course, the waist measurement and then the hip. So I barely have very much here, but um, it is very crucial to go as tightly as you can, because what happens is if it's not tight enough, these boning structures that we work so hard on will not actually perform and do its job. And its job is basically to just sort of suck you in like almost like a little girdle of sorts. So let me show you that now on the flat. So before I get on the flat to explain this and show you this, I want to take my measurements so we, we understand that I'm close to this mannequin. Okay, so we have the bust, which is like between 35 and 36. I have 36 uh, today. <laughs> And then we're gonna go underneath the bust here like this, and that's where my bra is as well. And let me just see what I've got here. And I've got um, 30, 30 inches right there, and that which is really good, because we're gonna need that. And then we're gonna go to the waist, and the waist I'm getting here about 29 and a half um, today. And then the high hip, I'm gonna be, I'm getting 35. Full hip, I'm getting a 37. Okay, just so we have those basic measurements, let's get on the flat now so I can explain this further. Okay, I've decided to put like a little tack here. I want to know where the center of this, of the bodice is. So I'm just going to, with white thread, just going to put a tack here so that I know that that's the center right there. And take that pin out. And then um, I can just go ahead and just put a little basting thread here just so that I can see where the center of the dress is so I can measure properly. That's good right there. A little tacking thread. Now that we have that, We said underneath the bus was 29. Uh, we need to have that one inch E, so it's going to be 30. So 30 would be 15 and 15 on each side. So I'm going to go right underneath here and I'm going to pull it tautly like this till I get to the 15. Probably going to make it a lot more than that actually. I'm going to make it 15 and a half. 
because I just want to have another extra ease there. I'm going to do the same thing on this side, so 15 and a half, and then we've got that measurement there as well. So I have that. Now we said the waist was um, 29, but it's usually more like 30. So I'm going to try to do 31. It's enough there to ease. I'm going to do another 15 and a half here. I'm just going to measure across. And I'm going to, it's, it's really actually where that um, lace stops, which, which is really good. That's where I want to do it. So I'm going to put it right there, which is that 15 and a half. And then I'm going to go on this side. Pull it tauntly as well till I get to that also, which is where that lace ends, pretty much here. This side is a little bit skimpier for some reason. I'm going to follow this part here along where these markings are because this was pinned on me at the last episode and it fits. So I'm not going to worry that worry so much about that. And then it's just up here. Uh, how far I want to go. Let me go ahead and try to measure here from what I would, I guesstimate what I want to actually take it. Probably here is where I want to put the mark. And then I'm going to just take this and put the tape measure on the actual bodice like this and just go with it as it's cupping on the fullness as much as I can. Go here as well. And we're saying it was like 36 or 36 and a half. So I'm gonna, it is pretty tight. It is pretty tight, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it right there. All right, so we have the basic markings. Here's the invisible zipper. I'm gonna be putting in an invisible zipper with this dress. I only need about 14 inches or so because you only need about seven inches below the waist line um, as far as the zipper ending. And since this is a bustier and it's not all the way up to the back, um, this is all you need for the zipper length. So the zipper length is, is going to be here. And then I'm going to be pinning that to the actual bodice itself. I'm going to put that on and pin it and I'll be right back. I decided to marrow this because it was just uneven and we're really there to the very edge of where I need it. So I wanted that to be cleaned and taken care of before I start. I'm opening up this part because this is going to uh, clean where the zipper is. And then the invisible zipper, you put, this is the front, you put it down like this. And we're going to work on this side first. And I'm going to pin this up here where that marking is. I want to go out as much as I can because I want it to be um, more realistic in size. So I'm just going to go out there as much as I can and then I'm going to pin this here where that marking is here that we have right there and I'm going to continue to pin these guys down. Um, we, we are just saying that the waist is here with that marking where the lace layer actually ends and the lining continues. That's where that's going to be. And I'm going to go inward just a tiny bit here. And I'm going to go right there where that ends as well. Put Putting the prongs right there where it ends. And like I said, we only need a shorter zipper because this is not all the way up to the, the back. This is dress, so it's much lower in the back. All right, so then I'm just going to pin that where that portion is now and wherever this zipper wants to end, like this. So we're going to get this side sewn in first, and then we'll get to the other side. Okay, let's sew this down now. I've not worked with this zipper foot before. Here we go. It, it, cur it holds the... Uh, prongs on either side when you're sewing it. So it looks like a pretty good foot. Let's see what happens. I'm going to maneuver it with my hands. I don't want to get too close because if it gets too close you won't be able to zip this up. So I'm trying not to get too close. There we go. Let's test to see if it zips up before I get on the other side. So I'm just going to zip it up. And it zips up all the way. 
great, fantastic. Let's do the other side. Okay, I just want to show you that I'm laying this out properly. This is turning back this way, and then you have to flip the zipper so that it is this way, pinned this way, because once it's sewn, this will push back, and then your zipper will be here and ready to be zipped, if that makes sense. Let's sew it now. Okay. I'm just putting it on, not pushing the prongs over too much because I don't want it to be too tight. And just working it this way. And it's lined up nicely on the top where all the layers are. So, wow, what a relief. Okay guys, we did it. This is the second time around, believe it or not. The zipper separated on that last episode that I just showed you and I had to replace it. Invisible zippers cannot be fixed. If you're zipping it up and it's just off by one prong, it can actually separate. So I had to put a new one in, so we have a new one in. It's not finished, so it's still a little raw out there, but we're gonna work on that next week. All right, guys, so we got the zipper in. Um, I have it on my dress form. If you have a dress form that actually goes in like this, it's a little bit more helpful if the shoulders go in. But as you can see here, it is not fitting all the way. That's normal. Um, the human body is more flexible, like I said, than the actual hard form. But I know that it fits me, so that's a good thing. And we have it in nicely. I also want to show you a couple of tricks that I did on this one. What I did just to make it get a little bit more durable is I actually added some fusible interfacing here just at the seam line and a little extension over it. So when you're stitching on very delicate fa fabric, this zipper will stitch beautifully. I also used my heavier bobbin thread um, because I wanted to give it as much strength as possible. Hopefully the zipper will hold up. So we're done for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you love my videos, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Put the bell notification so you don't miss any of these. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.